So welcome. So uh, this question says a six kilogram mass is lifted from a position that is two meters above a table to a position that is seven meters above the table. <clears throat> and what is its change in gravitational potential energy? So let's begin as always by visualizing. So first of all, let's draw the table <laughs> and then two meters above it. Two meters above it, we begin and then we move to a point which is seven meters above it so this would be seven meters and then uh, it's a six kilogram mass so let's put the masses in here <coughs> and that of course was achieved by some force that was pointing upwards and i'm assuming because there's no acceleration information it was very slowly moved upwards <coughs> And it asks me to find the uh, uh, um, change in gravitational potential energy. Well, that's delta for change in gravitational potential energy, according to the book that I use, is UG. In this section of physics, you'll find almost every different you know, author has a different nomenclature for uh, some of the symbols, and it's, it's no big deal. Um, and then this, of course, equals ug final minus ug initial the gravitational potential energy at the end minus the gravitational potential energy at the beginning and ug therefore is equal to well the common term for this is mgh so mgh final minus mgh initial so this would be ug is equal to mg H final minus H initial. So UG, so the change in gravitational potential is equal to the mass, which is 6, times the uh, uh, gravitational field strength, not the acceleration due to gravity. Um, at this point, we're talking about uh, 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 ex uh, gravitational field strength, which is uh, 9.8 or 10. Uh, newtons per kilogram. So this would be 10 times uh, uh, 7 minus 2. So the change in gravitational, uh, the change in potential energy due to gravity is equal to uh, 60 times 5, which equals 300 joules. So let's see if it's on. Yes, there it is. And there we have it. Pretty straightforward. Um, people actually do sometimes find these questions a bit harder than, than this working would show. And um, I think part of the reason for that is because, I'll do this in a different colour so that we don't, we don't think it's part of the same thing. But sometimes what people will do is they'll, they'll drill into their head, oh, my change in gravitational potential energy is equal to the work done. So they think of the, the work uh, energy theorem, in this case, the work uh, potential energy theorem. Uh, um, and then what they're saying is they're already thinking, oh, well, you know, I want um, my change in uh, gravitational potential energy. So that must equal the force times the dis uh, displacement times the cosine of the angle between. So they're already thinking along lines of things that they've not been given and then they're trying to work out what they've been given. So sometimes you just got to be careful about looking carefully at what you're given and going from those clues. And this is where, although we don't do it so much these days, this is where making a list is actually very important because if I, if I do put down, well, let's see, I have a mass and I have a H final and I have an H initial, and I have a gravitational field strength, that leads me much more directly to this equation, and it's leading me away from force and displacement. Now, I can make a question where you do need to do this, but I've got to give you enough information to be able to get there. And sometimes I see students struggle in trying to force a question that is solved by basically the definition of uh, the change in gravitational potential energy. I see them struggle with that because they're trying to force it into becoming a question which is about the work energy theorem. Uh, so just you'd be a little bit careful about that. And a second word of, of warning is um, 
um, caution, I'd say, is that we are taking our zero gravitational potential energy as being at the tabletop. And that's fine uh, for a while. <laughs> Uh, later on, we might ask ourselves, well, wh where is the true zero of gravitational potential energy? Um, at the moment, we're assuming it's wherever's convenient, because we're looking typically for changes, either uh, ch basically changes over a, uh, um, over a behavior by lifting the block and causing a change. Um, and sometimes unsaid is, you know, relative to the tabletop. And um, there we have it. 